Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be finishing up Peen today, hopefully. So, as you may recall, last time it was pretty hard to get through the game because we had, uh, I didn't run an update, essentially. Uh, itch.io, I thought it had run an update that was supposed to kind of, like, lower the battle incidences. And it was very, um, just let me leave. Oh my god, we spawn enemies like every five friggin' seconds, homie. Every five friggin' seconds. Oh, now I find some alien energy drinks. Now I find some alien energy drinks. Now I find them. Uh, needless to say, I kind of lost it a little bit here and there at some moments. Uh, so I talked to the developer, I talked to Bob, and uh, he actually was very kind and gracious um, and gave me a save file that would actually put us further in the game. Because where I was before... Uh, not only was the incidence high, but I was completely out of items. I was- <laughs> I was completely out of items. I was almost out of health. I was like- uh, I- I was like, there's no way I can save this. Like, I'm not that good at games. Um, so yeah, Bob gave me a save file. So, the difference between this save file and the previous save file that I've been playing on, the one that you had seen in previous episodes, the difference is that- this time, we've actually fought the aliens, and so we went and we fought the giant alien, and we went and got orbs from that alien. So, this is pretty exciting. I think that we're gonna pretty much just unlock, like, a good ending for this game, but I'm excited to see what exactly, uh, how exactly this game is gonna end. So, if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and join. It took me a while to download the save file. I'm gonna- I'm gonna kick your ass. So it took me a while to download the save file because- No, I don't want to raise someone's libido. Feel up. Temporarily increase strength. Focus. Calm down. Nah, sure. Focus. And then... The shape of water. So yeah, now I've got some items and things like that, so I think that we'll be all set. Yeah. Ooh, dope. I am sucking on a lozenge because I've actually been recording all day. So, you guys know that like I'm in I'm in school right now. So, I've been trying my best to um uh so I've been trying my best to kind of like record things actually ahead of time. So, I have been trying out I did something a little weird today. I wanted to record for only about 3 weeks in advance. And what I ended up doing today was actually recording for four I got very excited about um, games today and just wanted to play more and more games and yeah. So that's what happened today. So my throat really, really hurts. So if you notice me like stopping to take a breath or not being as engaged as I usually am with voice acting, that is just me <laughs> with my sore throat. This is already very easy. This is very nice. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not upset anymore. Yeah, I was actually like really worried when I finished the last episode because I was just like, oh my god. Because normally I love all of Bob's ga uh, Bob's games but uh, and I play them through to the end. But yeah, the <laughs> with Bean, I was like, oh god! Oh no! Like, I didn't want to like just stop because <laughs> I was like, stopping feels like a dick move. It looks like there's a lot more like item variants from what I'm seeing. No, I'm escaping. Yes. It looks like there's also a lot more item variants from what I'm seeing in this build, so that's really great. And what I mean by that is, like, the number of items that you get. What the- What the- What the shit?! He can heavily grope himself, and I think that that's the best part about this game. Uh, I've been drinking so much water today, by the way. Like, I'm worried about my kidneys. I think I've drank- Almost a gallon and a half of water today. Do you want to just, like, focus? You make me focus. I can't change it again. Wait, what the hell? Okay, we are back. It took some time, but I, like, played with the leather a couple times. You can't move the other leather. Um, so I just played with one a couple times, and uh, this seemed to work. So let's go ahead and funnel some rage. Let's go ahead and do a careful study. I have no idea how long this will take, folks. So I may be, like, pausing recording intermittently. And I need you to just keep funneling that rage, my... <laughs> enragement child. Do you guys remember, like, the 
what was it? It was like the Five Nights at Freddy like RPG. Oh my god, I love that game. What was it? It was like Oh, it was Five Nights at F Boys. Yeah, I remember it now. That was that was a good game. That was really funny. I just remember like there's so much about that that's like so quotable, like years later, you're just like inhale my dog. <laughs> Enragement child. Like it's so funny. Markiplier played it, and it was one of my favorite series, and it's actually, like, it's weird, but it's one of those LPs that, like, I'll still go back and I'll watch from time to time. Yay, we did it. We found a solid alien wrench, but... Hello? There you are. We've been... You can drop the act, Tim. Uh, okay, it was wearing a little thin anyway. What? This is starting to make sense. Wait, he's been an alien this whole time? What? This man's an alien? That's kind of hot, though. But Tim, you're one of them. Please know that everything that happened between us wasn't a lie. I really do love the two of you. I was right, wasn't I? My random musings when we were stuck in that cell. You were remarkably astute for a human. I'll take that as a compliment. So all of this was a test for us? Several decades ago, my people sent a scout vessel to your planet. Its goal was to determine if your race was ready to join the intergalactic community, the Roswell Crash. Indeed, the malfunction was intentional, designed to see how humans would react to a more advanced species in need. And you slaughtered them. The reaction by humans was certainly unusual. Your government took the aliens hostage, dissected them, tore apart the ship for technology. This caused great concern among the intergalactic community. Humans may not yet be able to reach beyond your star, but if they were... So they sent me, not only to observe, but also to lie and wait in case the next phase proved necessary. Humanity is approaching its breaking point. You can't even take care of your own planet. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Okay, we have to do this? I, I came here to play an RPG. Many among us were pushing for more drastic action in response to so decide to test us again. Yes, we needed to know if your species was truly beyond any hope of salvaging. So all of this has been a lie? Tim moves next to me and attempts to caress my arm and jump at his touch. No, the life I experienced on this planet was not a lie. I would not give up my time with the two of you for anything. But boy, you're dumping us! Ow! So the device, does it actually work or has Tim been operating it the entire time? Oh, it works. Just not in the way you humans think it does. It is, shall we say, a bunch of smoke and mirrors. So we haven't actually been harming any aliens on the ship. That is correct. It's actually a big relief. So the test was when you approached us the previous two times and offered us a peaceful solution. Yes, it was a test to see if you would bi blindly follow orders and continue to wage violence when offered. Literally, a way out. Okay, but <laughs> in the previous build, I had no choice. I was dying. I may have overdid the theatrics there a bit. But we fought you both times. Indeed. What was that? It is our judgment. This planet will be purged of humanity with the hope that another more empathetic species will grow in its place. What? I'm truly sorry. Please believe me. F*** you, Tim! F*** you! F*** you! Are you serious? We'll stop you. Our military entrusted us to stop in you in our attempts to destroy us and we'll succeed. You are certainly welcome to try, but I would recommend that you go join the rest of humanity outside and enjoy your final moments. John. No, I'm not gonna sit by and do nothing. As you wish. But I must warn you, the device has been disabled. You will not be able to do anything to me, or even the illusion of doing anything. It's not over until it's over. I love you and I'm sorry. F*** you, Tim! Please don't make me do this. We're not gonna let you destroy humanity. Bruh! Bruh! You cannot harm me. You're only wearing yourself out. John, baby, I don't know if- No, why isn't this working? Because you don't have the device, stupid! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm scared. I truly did not wish to harm you, but the device has been deactivated. You cannot harm me, and I will not protect you from- No, you want to destroy humanity. We're not going to stand by and do nothing. Humanity is a threat to the well-being of thousands of other species in the galaxy. Then leave us alone. Quarantine the planet. Do something. We are doing something. Can I use an item? No. Okay. They took away all my good, good shit. Please stop this. If I'm going down, I'm going down fighting. I'll hit you myself if I have to. Then hit him. Oh, he's lunges at the alien but repels with his fist. Baby, this isn't working. No, Mark. <laughs> I don't know. I just do it. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. But the alien watches sadly. Why is nothing happening? Baby, come here. I'm here, baby. I'm here. We can't just- I know, I know. I really wish things could have turned out differently. Tim, go f*** yourself. Like, literally. John, baby, kiss me. I- we can't give up. John, baby, I love you. Just- you've done everything you can. Just let me hold you like this. Your deaths will be quick and painless. That at least I can do for you. Oh my god, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we're gonna give this a go. So, I, I took the save file that had the... You fought him twice. So if you fight him twice, by the time that you get to him a third time, you will not be able to beat him. You can fight him once and get a different third ending. But folks, I'm just gonna try and get, like, the good ending, I guess? Um, so I'll be right back. It's gonna take me a minute here. We are- we are- we are back. So, yeah, like I was saying, um, Child of Bob, so there's three different possible endings to this game. One which you fight them once. And then you kind of see what happens. We're not going to, like, check that one out um, on this on this LP. And then there's one where you uh, fight them twice. And then by the time that you get to the third time, like, you die. So that's what happened to us. We died. I think I'm playing with this other save file. The fixed save file that essentially uh, has had us not fight twice. So let's see here. Okay, so Tim is dropping the act. We didn't fight you. Does that mean it is a glimmer of hope? But only one glimmer. Humanity still has a long way to go before it has truly learned from its mistakes. So the test was useless. No, despite everyone, including me, pushing you, you did the right thing. Okay, I'm just saying, like, if this ends good, can we dump this man? Because this is, this is a lot, even for me. This is a lot, even for me. I'm a little pissed. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um... Yeah, we can only hope that you and the others, like you, win the pet battle that is wa being waged on this planet between members of your own kind. Hope that you will be watching. Make peace, take care of your planet, spread unity rather than division, and maybe one day you will join us among the stars. If you two can forgive me and keep my identity a secret, I would very much like to stay. Okay, you know what? I'm throwing this man under the bus. F*** you. <laughs> I understand it would be a big one to keep. Maybe if we clean up our act in our lifetime, you can visit. John's supposed to be the eternal optimist, but I'll keep that in mind. Farewell. There, he's gone. Tim puts his arm around my shoulders and pulls me against him. Just like that, they're gone. We should probably get off the ship. I imagine they're wanting to get underway by themselves. And now we fight for a better future. Yeah. Aw, oh, cool. Okay. Let's- Okay, now let's not be an asshole this time to Tim. Although I'm just salty. Uh, I'm very salty. I- did not think that he was going to be an alien. I just thought he was like the angry one out of the group. But you still want to be with us? Like, why? I don't... It's fine. It's fine. I'm just upset. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Stay with us. I would love nothing more. Does this mean we get into bone in the alien form? I think I have a thing for aliens. I think that's my kink. Is that a kink? Um, is that a fetish? <laughs> He's gone. Just like that, they're gone. We should probably get off the ship. I imagine they're wanting to get underway. Now we fight for a bit of future. Yeah. And that's it. So that those are the two endings that you can get. You can basically get a... Well, I'm sorry. No, I'm stupid. There's three endings that you can get. These are the two that we'll be checking out for the channel. This was actually a really interesting game. Um, I did like the f battle mechanics. Of course, I'm going to ignore the incidents of the battles. Just, that's, that's irrelevant. That, I mean, I'm gonna put on the same level as, like, a bug. And plus it was fixed, so I'm like, I don't care now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it wouldn't be... I don't like people that kind of complain about bugs that come out when a game first comes out. Because if it's... If it has other substance to it and other longevity, then it doesn't really matter. It's kind of like when I see people complaining in visual novels how there's, like, Oh, there's grammatical errors. And I'm like, but if you can read it... Despite the grammatical errors, I don't think it's a big deal. I don't know. 
I have feelings about that. I have feelings about that, but that's for like another episode. But yeah, I really like the story here. I really like the assets. I really like the fact that Bob is trying to branch out and um, with, you know, his other team members and other kind of developers that, that teamed up for this particular game, they're branching out into kind of other sort of games and other sort of uh, engines and things like that. And RPG Maker is a pain in the ass. Like, it is simple. It is it is a good tool if you want to learn how to make games. It is finicky as all hell. It's hard. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it makes you cry. Um... Many tears are shed when you work with RPG Maker. So this was really excellent. I really like this narrative. I love the game mechanics. I thought that that was just so freaking cool how they were able to set it up so that it's like the thing that takes damage is actually the device. I just, I've never seen that before in an RPG Maker game. So that was just so cool to see. Um, and yeah, I think that now, now after, since it's been patched, and everything, I think that it's definitely worth checking out and playing on your own, seeing kind of what you can get for like that third ending there. So yeah, uh, thank you so much to the developer for giving me a copy of the save files needed to complete the game. Uh, thank you for putting up with my shitty attitude because <laughs> I know episode two, I was losing my shit. I was not a happy camper. Um, and thank you to everybody here who watched this video that was here to, um, you know, help me uh, get through the game and everything and I hope that you enjoyed it and yeah if you want to see more games like this please leave a like on this video because it really does help the channel out also consider subscribing and when you subscribe be sure to hit the notifications bell so you get updates when I upload future episodes without further ado thank you all so 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 much for watching bye special shout out to patreons ace wolf 741 deep dive dylan brian white caleb putnam and robin harper